Today we will be showing how to make a simple anemometer. You will need a stopwatch, five plastic cups, three wooden dowels, a pair of scissors, duct tape, a hole punch, and a plastic water bottle. Punch a hole with the hole puncher in the side of the four cups as far down as the hole puncher will go. Take the fifth cup and punch a hole in the bottom of it using scissors. If that is too hard, use a paper clip to start the hole. Punch four evenly spaced holes just below the rim of the fifth cup with the hole in the bottom. This will be the center. Take two of the wooden dowels and slide them through the holes in the center cup so that they cross like an X. Using the holes punched earlier, place the plastic cups on the ends of the wooden dowels. Secure the plastic cups with duct tape. Place the third wooden dowel through the hole in the bottom of the plastic cup, then place it through the top of the water bottle. It is optional to punch a hole in the lid larger than the dowel so that it does not tip as much. Secure the dowel in place with duct tape on the bottom of the cup and at the X of the crossing dowels. To find the wind speed, set a timer for 30 seconds, and as the anemometer spins, count how many spins happen. Every spin is a mile per hour. When it is warm out, the liquid in the thermometer expands, causing it to move farther up on the temperature readings. When it is colder, it contracts, causing it to go farther down. How you read a thermometer is you look at the Fahrenheit side and the top of the liquid, whichever line it matches up with, is the temperature that it is. To calculate the wind chill, first you need to find the air temperature using a thermometer. Find the closest air temperature on the chart. Say the temperature is zero degrees Fahrenheit. Then you need to find the wind speed in miles per hour and find the closest possible one. Say it's 10 miles per hour is the wind. You find where they meet in the chart. The wind chill would be negative 21. This is what it feels like because the wind is blowing the temperature off your skin, making you colder. 